Helping to save the planet is something that will benefit all of us, as well as generations to come. And the ways we have to do so range from the simplest recycling to the harvesting of water and clean energy. I'm Glenn. All of these started as an idea that evolved into something more. With that in mind, we're bringing you 15 innovations helping to save the planet. Number 15. Gravity Labs found a way to convert carbon emissions into one of the most used products on the market. The company developed a filtering device comprised of a steel cylinder affixed to an exhaust pipe. The soot is then hydrated and processed to create ink for air ink, pens, and markers. Each marker holds the equivalent of 45 minutes of diesel car pollution. Number 14. The smog-free tower provides a local solution for clean air, such as in parks. The seven meter tall tower uses positive ionization technology to deliver smog-free air in public spaces while using only a small amount of green electricity. It simply sucks polluted air in like an enormous vacuum cleaner. Then the ion technology purifies it before returning fresh air out through the vent of the tower. Number 13. While we think of vehicle exhaust as a major source of air pollution, car tires also contribute to microplastic pollution. A team of British arts and sciences students developed a prototype device that sits next to a car's tire, near to where it touches the road. The device, mounted on the vehicle's steering knuckle, collects rubber particles within its storage unit. That unit is periodically removed and emptied for the fragments that can be recycled. Number 12. The sea bin is a trash skimmer designed to be installed in any body of water with proper services and a tranquil environment. Skimming the water's surface, the sea bin acts like a floating trash bin Water moves into a catch bag inside the sea bin using a submersible water pump. Then clean water is pumped back into the marina, leaving debris and litter behind. The sea bin can absorb petroleum-based surface oils and detergent predominant in most marinas around the world. Number 11. Hydroloop is a self-cleaning, low-maintenance residential water recycling system. The system makes the water reusable in washing machines, toilets, gardens, or anything else you're not going to drink. A smartphone app monitors what's going on with the Hydroloop, and hotels and bigger houses can run multiple units to handle more output. Number 10. PaveGen created a pavement that captures the movement of the people who walk on it, turning steps into energy. Using a set of triangular composite tiles resting on electromagnetic generators, PaveGen captures a clean form of energy otherwise lost on typical concrete pavements. When you walk on, the tile pressure is applied, creating energy. Take enough steps and you've got a decent amount of energy produced over a period of time. Multiply this by the thousands of foot travelers, and you've got enough energy to power a store or a stretch of streetlights. Number nine. Switzerland-based startup Energy Vault is the creator of kinetic energy and gravity-based long-duration energy storage solutions. It is transforming the approach to producing reliable and sustainable electricity. The 35-ton composite bricks are lifted to build a tower storing energy as it gains elevation. Then returning the bricks to the ground creates kinetic energy and turns it back into electricity. Specially engineered software ensures the bricks are placed in the exact location every time. Number 8. 
Number eight. The Groasis Waterbox Plant Cocoon. Initially designed to grow trees in the desert, reforesting areas with irregular rainfall and poor or rocky soil is a new planting technique for tree farming. The plant cocoon protects the plant and the surrounding soil from the sun, ensuring that 100% of the water reaches the plant in its first year. Once the plant roots get to the depth of groundwater, it can grow independently and is resistant to further drought. I'm Allie and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time. By looking at just these images, do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number seven. Barsha is a hydro-powered irrigation pump developed to provide sustainable irrigation solutions to farmers across the world. This water wheel uses energy from the flow of canals and rivers to pump water, regardless of the water flow. By doing so, the water wheel pumps water to higher elevations without the need for active mechanical parts to create pumping action. Farmers can then use the water to fill a reservoir or flood fields. As a result, the Barsha pump can save over 70% of watering costs compared to fossil fuel-based pumps. Number six. Most people don't think about eating the wrapper their takeout food comes in, but that could be changing as companies that make packaging from edible substances become more prevalent. There's no argument that single-use plastics, whether it be straws, cups, utensils, or grocery bags, cause concern when not discarded properly. Luckily, many organizations are developing numerous packaging options, safe for human and animal consumption, using innovative technology and plant-based materials, such as seaweed. This approach provides the ability to form everything from cups to utensils to takeout boxes. A bonus is that they will biodegrade quickly without harming the environment, even when not consumed. It isn't a question of if the packaging process is taken over by these companies, but when. Number five. Energy for dozens of households to entire communities leveraged from a single turbine in rivers that were never viable before can now be harnessed. A turbulent turbine can help you harness that energy if you have a river passing through your property or business. Using just 6% of the space of a solar panel array, a turbulent hydroelectric plant produces eight times more energy than the same capacity solar panel array. Every hour is a peak hour for hydro energy, while solar power is not accessible at night. Each model has a distinct basin diameter to fit various stream characteristics. Number four. The Interceptor is the ocean cleanup's answer for plastic waste in rivers. 100% solar powered, it extracts plastic autonomously and is capable of operating in most of the world's polluted waterways. The water's flow passes through the system onto a conveyor belt. After the current moves the debris onto the conveyor belt, it delivers the waste to the shuttle, which automatically distributes the trash across six dumpsters. When the interceptor dumpsters are almost full, it automatically sends a text message to the local operators to come and collect the waste. Number three. A myriad of environmental influences causes global damage to coral reefs. These include river sedimentation runoff, destructive fishing practices, invasive species, and coral bleaching. Deployed from small boats, Modular Artificial Reef Structure, or MARS, reimagines these farming formations as a 3D structure. Each piece has specially designed surface geometry to promote the healthy development of fresh coral. The 3D printed surfaces are molded in ceramic, then filled with steel reinforcement and marine concrete. 
Since it can be formed to irregular surfaces and is entirely inert, ceramic is one of the most reliable transplanting materials. Once implemented, the system also protects the habitat for other species in the area. Number two. The Cloud Fisher, produced by Water Foundation, is the first maintenance-free fog collector that withstands winds up to 75 miles per hour. A buttressed mesh panel with a 3D pattern of fibers weaved in netting and reinforced by a plastic grid maximizes the amount of water collected. At the same time, the rubber expands to lessen the wind's impact, while flexible gutters follow the wind's movement. Number one. The EOS bioreactor will help solve the CO2 problem by isolating carbon more rapidly and efficiently than trees. The reactor utilizes a particular strain of algae, which supposedly soaks up more CO2 than any other plant. Each super-boosted algae bioreactor is designed to be installed in urban environments. Its machine learning software oversees the whole process, managing temperatures, light, and pH levels for maximum output. Number two. 